The weather patterns in the earth are changing, raising alarm in some quarters and ridicule in others. Different groups have different explanations for the cause of this climate change. The melting Arctic ice is exposing new opportunities, dangers and wars. The future of this aging Earth seems precarious. On the North and South Poles, the northernmost and southernmost ends of the Earth are two regions called the Arctic and Antarctica. Whereas Antarctica is a continent, the Arctic is a region. Because of their locations at the farthest ends of the Earth where there is little sunlight, these two poles are almost always covered in ice. The ice on the Arctic and Antarctic is very important because they keep the Earth's oceans at a constant level by turning large volumes of ocean water into ice. Once they begin to melt, they will release these large volumes of water into the oceans. This phenomenon will increase the water levels in the oceans, which will flood many towns and cities along the coasts. Ice in both the Arctic and the Antarctic is said to be melting, raising sea levels. Currently, ice in the Arctic region is melting so fast that it is raising an alarm and opening up new opportunities globally. For instance, many American technological giants are scouting Greenland for rare metals as the glaciers in Greenland melt. The world superpowers USA and Russia and other Arctic nations such as Canada, Norway, Denmark, Greenland, Finland and Sweden are increasing their military and commercial presence in the Arctic. The Arctic is estimated to contain the largest reserves of untapped oil, gas, uranium, diamonds, gold and other rare minerals. Also, should the ice melt from the Arctic, sea routes from North America and Northern Europe to Asia will become so short and cheaper. Indeed, 95% of the oldest and thickest ice in the Arctic is already gone, and by 2040 there might be no ice there. This will be bad for the Earth and is no good news. Hidden beneath the ice are radioactive waste and dormant viruses and bacteria that are unknown to man for ages. Recently in 2016, melting Siberian ice released the body of an anthrax-infected reindeer buried for over 70 years. The bacteria spread, killing thousands of reindeer and infecting thousands of people. A child was also killed. The Arctic is melting faster than anticipated by scientists, raising fears of rising sea levels, the resurrection of dormant bacteria and viruses and a possible Arctic war between the world's powers. The melting ice will increase sea levels by at least 70 meters, flooding coastal areas and displacing many cities and towns near seas. In effect, the climatic and environmental ecology of the world as we know it is about to change for the worst. All the virgin regions in the world reserved from human activities, including the rainforests, are now being destroyed. A changing climate will bring more diseases, hunger, displacement of people, poverty, flooding, heat wave and fires. Rising temperatures are causing intense heat globally, leading to melting ice, bushfires and the emergence of tropical diseases in temperate areas. The changing climate is being felt everywhere. Some scientists believe that the causes of these are human activities through carbon emissions from cars, airplanes, industrial smoke, deforestation and so on. Other scientists also dispute this and claim that climate change is a hoax. They argue that extreme cold winters, as seen recently with the snow dump in Buffalo, New York, and in several parts of California, which has experienced severe drought for years, testify that the Earth is not warming as claimed. Some religionists also believe that the climate changed previously in Noah's time when a universal flood occurred and destroyed the Earth, and during Elijah's time when drought occurred for three years. Noah's flood is seen as the first climate change effect on Earth. 
This destructive global flood was called forth by the sins of men in that age. Yet, in both instances, the causes were not environmental degradation from deforestation, smoke, exhaust fumes and so on, but from sins such as idolatry, homosexuality, adultery and so forth. These religionists, therefore, believe that the ongoing climate change is a result of our increasing sins, which are calling down God's wrath and judgments. A fulfillment of prophecy for these last days as revealed in Matthew 24, verse 7, and Revelation chapter 7 and 14 through 18. Irrespective of the cause, let us endeavor to take good care of the earth.